Hi, my name is Michael Kresma, and I'm a mechatronics application engineer here at Festo. And in this video, we'll be going over how to connect codasys tags to our Festo CDPX HMI. First, we'll need to open up our codasys standalone software. Here, you'll see that I've created. You can see that I've created two Boolean values of X light and X button, and in the code. I have X button controlling X light, meaning X button once is pressed will turn on X light and once X button is released, X light will turn off. In order to be able to import the tags into our HMI, we'll need to go to application and right click on it. We'll need to go to add object and add symbol configuration. We can leave all these settings the same and just press add you'll notice that the symbol configuration was added to the tree and to the right a window has appeared. In this window, we'll notice that we have all the symbols and variables created in this project. We'll open up the PLC PRG and notice our X byte and X light. For any of the tags that we want to import to our HMI, we need to be able to select them. So we selected our X byte and X light. I like to press the build button in order to make sure that the project is fully compilable or is, is, has been compiled and is a functioning project and we want to make sure that we still have these selected. Next we'll go to build and hit generate code. What generate code does is it creates an XML file that we can be that we can use to import these variables to our designer studio software. So we'll hit that everything was generated and lastly I like to hit save project. Next we want to open up our designer studio software. Here what we'll do is we'll go to our widget and we'll add a button to reflect the button that we had from our codices project as well as a light too. In order for us to connect the tags from our PLC to our HMI we need to make a connection. We'll go to protocols, we'll hit the plus button, and we'll hit the drop down and select Codices version 3. Here a window will appear and you'll notice we need to type in an IP address. This IP address reflects that of the PLC. For my PLC it is set to 192.168.4.10. Now I hit OK. Once I've set this up I need to go to tags. Double click on tags and we'll go to import dictionary. We'll select codices 3xml linear and hit OK. We'll locate the XML file from your codices project. This will be found in the directory of wherever you downloaded or saved your codices project. We'll hit, we'll select it and we'll hit open and you'll notice you'll get a pop-up window saying that your tags have been added. And we can hit OK. You'll notice that they are a bit grayed out. What I like to do is I'll click on them and hit Control all and from there I will hit Import Tags. From here the tags from the XML have now been imported into our Designer Studio software. So if we go back to our page what we'll do is we'll click on our button Let's expand this out just a little bit so we can see. We'll go to value and we'll hit the plus button. The plus button will pop up this window and it'll show all the tags that we've imported into this project. For us we'll be using X button for the button so we'll hit OK and we'll do light as well. So click on light, go to the plus button and hit light. You'll notice now that this yellow appears that says data link. This is just saying that we've connected this particular button or widget or light to our tag. So we'll notice that it goes to application PLC X light. From here we'll want to download this over. So we'll hit run, download to target. And we want to make sure that we've selected our HMI IP address and hit download. Should download over. Once this is done we can hit close here and then what we'll do here is we can look at the actual HMI. So for us 
if this everything worked out, we should be able to press this button and this light will turn on. Release it, it'll turn off. Do that one more time. Press that, on, off. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.